Hello and welcome back to another video about audio, vintage audio. In today's video we'll talk about some of the Philips reel-to-reel -reel machines, um, the ones with this small uh, pressure pad switch. A small feature that uh, so many people uh, used wrong in their videos that I decided to make a video to explain how it works and uh, when you have to keep it on the left side and when you have to keep it on the right side. We'll take a closer look and then uh, an even closer one and I'll try to explain you exactly how it works and uh, how should you use it. This is a three head machine. It has an erase head, which erases the previous recording. It has a recording head, which, as its name says, records the new music on the tape. And it has the playback tape, which allows us in real time to see how that recording remains, to see how um, that uh, recording head actually recorded. When you press the play button, the tape uh, starts running over the heads and um, you will see here is um, this switch is on the right side. When I press it on the left side, uh, here is a pressure pad that presses extra the tape against the recording head, just the recording head. Because uh, when recording a tape, um, a perfect contact between the tape and the recording head is uh, much more important than on uh, playback. If uh, on playback you might sometimes notice some uh, small dropouts um, in um, high frequencies, when uh, the tape doesn't have a very good contact with the recording head, these dropouts are much, uh, much stronger and uh, more, more obvious. That's why um, when you record a tape, you have to keep this switch so that the pressure pad adds an extra pressure to the um, recording head. And uh, when you just play back a tape, uh, you don't want that extra pressure, that um, extra friction between the tape and the head that wears out the head um, sooner. Therefore, you'll have to keep this switch on the um, on the right side, and uh, the tape won't uh, presses um, the recording head that much. We'll have an even closer look to see exactly how it works. When you press play, this uh, pressure pad presses the tape against the recording head. That's actually for recording needed. When uh, you just play back a tape, you don't need that extra pressure, that extra friction, so you'll have to keep your switch on the right side. And this pressure pad doesn't, adds, doesn't add that extra pressure anymore on the recording head. Therefore, um, that's, uh, that's the purpose of it. It's um, just a pressure pad for a better contact between the tape and the recording head. When you record the pressure pad, is recommended to press the tape against, uh, that, uh, against the recording head. When you play back, you just have to move the switch to the other position and uh, you won't have that much uh, useless friction. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video, uh, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to follow, subscribe um, and uh, watch the other videos on my uh, profile. See you next time!